hello what's up my people you're welcome back to my channel um if you're still new here please don't forget to subscribe to my channel in today's um tutorial i'll quickly show you guys how to make a perfect designer um neck piping so after cutting out your neck you are going to take um fabric then you fold it in bias form you're going to fold like this in bias form Just fold as if you're making um, um, a 90 degree stuff. So fold in bias form like this. So measure one inch this way. Then you cut it upward like this. Just make it straight. Now by the time you open it up now we are going to have two inches there it's not really constant you can make it um smaller but i think these two inches is nice i make sure the length is up to the round neck measurement so this is aiming gum You are going to place hemming gum on it like this. Place it at the middle. Then you are going to fold on it like this from the both side. You can do the folding one after the other, then you can also do it together. Whichever one that is going to be easy for you. But mine, I'm doing mine together. I'm folding the both parts together if you like you can fold one part then you come back for the other part if that is gonna be easy for you but i think i prefer this just do it this way put it like this or through So after one you might have done this so the next thing you do now is you fold into two you're not really going to make the folding equal you're going to leave small allowance on the down part so that by the time you are sewing you'll be able to sew on that one don't make it equal like this so just make sure the the down one is a bit longer than the upper one so you make it come out a little bit so that when you are sewing on it you'll be able to sew on the down one if you fold them equal if you are sewing maybe you might actually miss the down part you might miss out some parts so if you look at it now see that the back part is um a bit higher so So this is cotton bias. Do ironing to open it up like this. I want to fold it into two equal parts, so that is why I'm opening um, the stuff first, so that it will be easy to fold back into two. So you're going to fold into two like this, two equal parts. fold into two like this i don't want the piping to be just plain so i want it to have little tiny black around this the neck to beautify it so this is the this is the main fabric so i'm going to show you how you attach the uh, the black bias now it mustn't necessarily be biased depending on the kind of material you want to make use of so but here i'm making use of a black so i'm using this bias look at it that upper part that is shorter you are going to place it you are going to place it like this so it's of two ways either you sew on it or you just use um this gum you use gum whichever one that is going to be easy for you i'm using this gum this b7000 
if you like just like i said you can sew on it if you like you can just put this gum just put it all through just little like this so you can see just put little gum like this don't forget you are putting the gum on that upper one the one that is short that is the shorter one yeah so you just put the gum all through like this then this is the bias you are going to place you're going to place it on this on it like this then you're going to leave out the little you want people to see outside that's the little you want to show outside you're just going to leave it very tiny the more tiny it is the more beautiful it comes out so you see so just do like that all through then you gum it so that black um, bias now sorry, is already glue on it like this so your own now is to just sew on the neck so now this is the neck so you open into two like this put the neck in between the um, the piping stuff Fold on it like this then you are going to sew on that edge not on that black stuff immediately after that black um, bias you sew it all through very tiny make sure you insert the neck in between the bias very well so you are going to sew all through like this so if you look at it, I've already sewn it all through. So if you like, you can leave it that way. If you like, you can do double stitching. Then you sew at this other part too. If you even like, you can make uh, another sewing. You can still sew it um, on that middle part to have three lines there. But I think I'm okay with this too. So after sewing all through, it's going to be like this. So you only need to iron very well. Just take your time to iron it. Because that is when you are going to arrange the neck. Just arrange it the way you want. The way you want it to sit. Iron very well. Look at it. It's coming out very beautiful. And we're almost done. look at it you see the thing is already relaxing already so set it and arrange the neck very well then you iron we're going to iron it very well make sure it sits very well so that is that about neck piping Don't forget I told you, you mustn't use bias, you can use uh, whichever material you want to make use of. So this is how it's going to come out. So you can see very beautiful and neat. Thank you very much everybody for watching. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share. See you in my next video.